How can we, as Christians, how can we have a moral and prophetic voice into the world if we have compromised our moral foundation? At the time in which we should speak the truth, as we should say to the world, this is wrong, this is immoral, this is evil. We're the ones that are supposed to do that, right? It's funny, Christians, we're in this, we're in, Christians are in a very difficult place in Western civilizations. American Christians are in a very difficult place because a lot of us will say, well, we shouldn't force religious beliefs on people. We shouldn't have Christian, we shouldn't force Christian morals through the government. That's, oh, when Christians get power, that's really bad. It's like, okay, all right, we're not supposed to do that. Also, we're not really just supposed to criticize the world. We're not really supposed to tell people that they're doing anything wrong. We're not supposed to do that. And then that, that trickles down to in church. Well, you're not really supposed to in church treat, you know, preach these things either. You know, that's, that's bad too. They're just going to offend people. Well, not just offend people. People are offended. Some people are offended. Maybe you, maybe you hate what I'm saying right now. Maybe you hate me like Herodias hates John the Baptizer. Just don't behead me. That would be nice. I like to keep my head. The church's job and the job of pastors, the job of leaders in churches, is not just to be moral ourselves. It's not just to teach the church to be moral. It's to be a moral voice to the whole world. Where else does the world understand what is right and wrong other than by what God has revealed to us in His Word? And we are the people of the book. The world's not the people of the book. Those in power oftentimes are not the people of the book. We're the people of the book. But apparently we're supposed to handcuff ourselves and not call out people in power, people in positions of authority. We're not supposed to criticize them. We're not supposed to criticize the world for its evil. But you see, when we do that, those whom are coming alive in God, those in the world who actually have a spiritual belief, who want to seek out God, how can they even respect us when we don't even believe our own truth? We won't even have our own moral foundation. And when we, when we destroy our own personal moral foundations and we change what God's Word says, and we ignore what God's Word says, how can we speak up and say, this thing that the world is doing is evil and wrong? We have no authority. We've destroyed our authority if we do that.